what's going on youtube back with another video today i got a center build for you guys so it's pretty much all around center but um, i'm gonna show you some modifications you can make depending on your play style so to get straight into it i went with a seven foot big 248 74 wingspan uh let me reset these real quick first thing i did i wanted a 99 offensive board um, i always go a higher offensive than defensive because of positioning so you're going to be in a better position to get defensive rebounds so i usually put my offensive rebounds that's going to help you get those better animations and it's going to be clutcher for the offensive rebounds rather than defensive as long as you're in good positioning and you're boxing out you're going to get the defensive board because you have the badges for it as well but just don't go too low with the defensive so i wanted the 99 so i put it at a 94 just so to save some attribute points and i'm gonna put my five first cat breakers on offensive rebounds so that puts my defensive at 79. I didn't want it too low, so I just bumped it up to 82. I actually moved that up too much, but yeah. So after that, I went with, I wanted to max out my speed and I kept my agility right there. Um, wanted my vert at an 80. That's gonna help you get boards and that's gonna help you get blocks. We're gonna move block up next after strength. I just moved this to 80. I'm not too much of an inside big and as long as you're in good positioning and you're playing good defense you're not going to get posted up you still got the badges you can get the blocks so if you're playing good defense strength is not all that important and especially if you're playing fives you're not going to play against too many post up bigs like you're just getting straight posted up all game so strength is important yes but it's not the end all be all this is not too low this is not too high it's actually in my opinion at the perfect spot so Next, I put up block. I wanted a high block. I don't want to get um, too low, too high. So I went 93. I'll probably put the rest of my cap breakers later down the road on these so I can get a 99, depending on once I see the, the stats on how good these badges are, high flying denier and um, paint patroller. But uh, yeah, so we'll see how, how that works. Actually, I don't even think, I might max plus one it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, steel perimeter, I left right where it was at because I played more fives. So I'm really not worried about playing perimeter or getting steals. You can just play good defense and you'll be perfectly fine. So interior, I went to 80. Like I said, as long as you're in good positioning, um, you're not gonna get too, it's not It's not gonna be post up straight like every time. So you'll be perfectly fine with an 80. Next, I moved up my midi. I put that at an 85. That's, I wanted a decent midi so I can get the good uh, animations, the jump shots so I can get a good base. I got a really good jump shot right now with Chris Bosch's base, so toting that, I'll show that to you guys that I'm using. Um, and then three point shot, I really didn't want it too low. You can honestly put this lower at like a 73, but I just went 77 just cause I had some extra points. Um, then I went pass accuracy. I fully believe in pass accuracy is important, especially cause you're gonna want break starter. So I put it at a 75, but I am a passer, so I did put I wanted versatile visionary on um, at least something, so I got it to bronze. So I put that at a 78, and I also wanted to be able to dribble. I'm sure you got some moves that you can do with this build at the end, but I also wanted to dribble, so I maxed this out. That's gonna give me all the pro sigs. Pro behind the back is really good for bigs because it's really quick. And then I also maxed out my speed with ball. You really didn't need to. Probably could have dropped it down more, but uh, yeah, so I left it like that. Standing dunk, I moved to an 85. That's gonna give me the the pro contact dunks for bigs and driving, which is also important for pick and rolls. You're gonna need drive and dunk. So I moved this to 80. You're gonna get some really good animations with that. Post control, just so I can get post fade phenom on gold. I moved that up to a 78. Oh, I'm um, not a 78, 70, no, dang, my bad. 87 for a uh, post up poet on gold. You get this pretty early. Uh, yeah, so I got that. And then the rest of these I put towards close shot at an 84. And then I moved up my free throw to a 73. And I still got some more points. Where did I put them at? Vertical 80. Do they be changing this stuff? 38, 39, 80, 58, 70, 70. Oh, pass accuracy, I moved to 82. Why did I do that? Oh, gold dimer. So yeah. I got the gold diamond with this build because like I said, I was a passer. So this is what I did for my play style. I like to pass, I also like to dribble even if I have center. Even if I'm playing big, I'm not gonna force dribbling, I'm not running point, but I like to put the ball on the ground sometimes. So I put my ball handle up to 70, got that. So if you don't dribble and you don't care for it, you can easily just bring that down, honestly, all the way. 
if you still want that gold diamond, you can leave it right there. Just drag it down to you can bring this down even more. Speed with ball. You can honestly bring it all the way down. I will keep the speed just so you can get up the court. I'm not sure what the speed differences is right now. I haven't played fives with the big yet. I only played threes. So I can't tell you how bad getting up the court is with a low speed, but I like the 69. I like being able to get up the, up and down the court. You can also bring your three point shot down because you're not gonna lose any badges. You probably go like 72, 73. Let's leave it at 73. Um, what else can you drag down? Um, so yeah, we'll leave it like that. You can put your strength up to 88. That's gonna give you post powerhouse. So you're gonna be able to back down more, get those uh, stronger animations. It's gonna give you physical, fit, not physical. Uh, brick wall silver is gonna move box out, beast up to gold too. So you can move your strength up if you want to. Um, go more towards your dunks. If you want the animations and the badges, you can go driving dunk. What else can you go with? Let me bring layup back down. You can even go layup if you want. You can go 87. It's not going to give you nothing, so you probably just leave that at 85. You can go higher pass act. You can literally go anywhere with these last few, but um, I'm trying to see if something is going to give you anything important. I don't think so. You could get this to 96 just so you don't have to waste your cap breakers. Get that Hall of Fame right away. Um, you can even go steel just to get gold interceptor or bronze. I don't know why I said gold. So you can get the steel, get gold interceptor, so you can still run some lean. Steels are OP. You got a big build, so you can even go right there. But yeah, there's so many options you can go with. So just play around, play with it for your preferences. And I'm gonna go to where I actually have my build at, so I can show you what sigs I got on them and what jump shot I'm using and the dunk animations that you get. So. You see the shades right there, some pretty solid shades. It's pretty much all around build. So, no all around center, it can do it all. But three level scoring board hunters, what it came out to. So here are the SIGs I'm using. Trey Young Pass Style, in my opinion, is the fastest one that you can get with this build or Sabonis. Those are gonna be your two best ones. Uh, I went normal dribble style for the blowout dribble. I'll show you why I like that. Pro SIG size up, I really don't use these. Escape moves, I went pro. Combo moves, I went pro. I went pro for a lot of them because I think pro is the best one. You still get some other ones like Zion, but I think pro has some really fast moves, especially this pro behind the back. Uh, I went Joel Embiid spin. Hezzy, I went bird, step back pro, triple death style, MJ. Uh, motion style, I went bam, post hop, AD, hook. Um, I would say all these are pretty much preference based. Hop jumper, I will go normal. I'm gonna show you why. Uh, when I go test it, dribble pull up, I like Jokic and that's pretty much that this is the jump shot i'm using i get uh okay i have this a little further than push i don't know why right now so i keep this on push but yeah this is what i'm using bosh aldridge bam and 65 towards aldridge 35 towards bam uh save that and these are the dunks that you can get so you can see everything that's green i like the tomahawks because it's probably the fastest dunk animations especially off two off one I use those as well as, long, as well as the athletic do some baseline reverses and then you see you get the pro standing bigs you get the uh, all these under the basket dunks so those are all your standing dunks you can probably put some of these on if you want to these are all the oops that you get so you get some pretty good dunk packages too but so just to go into freestyle show you what moves I do to get open uh, you see right here you can just spam this little hop jumper this is why I use normal and then you can literally just go to the cup. Uh, so if you're up top, you do that hop jumper, a big is gonna be really slow, so they're gonna try to cut off the angle straight to the rim. So if you come wide like this, they're gonna jump, you just post up, they're in the air, you just go straight up. And then that's gonna be easy to every time. If they don't jump off the front, or like if you do it and you try to counter, they don't jump, you can just post up, come back, post hop shot. Like easy stuff like that. You can hit all your post shots, hooks, fades, drop steps, you got everything. So it pretty much can do it all. Here's why I like Jokic for this little running shot. I still haven't mastered the timing as you can see, but it's a really good move. Like just like that, it's gonna, um, it's not gonna slow him down. He's not gonna um, square up. So once I actually get the timing down on that, 
then I'm um, gonna show you why it's a really good uh, fade to use and that's gonna be my preference. Um, but yeah, like I said, another one, reason why I use normal dribble style is for the blowout dribbles. So if you don't know how to do it, you just hold R2 and flick up, but you can only do it in the backcourt. So if you get a rebound, and this is probably better for threes because there's less people on the court, but if you get a rebound, like I said, you still got that silver break starter, but if you want to push the ball up the court, you just hold R2, flick up, and you literally just get that little boost right there and then you can just go up for an easy dunk. Or if you're playing fives and you do get that little animation and it's probably gonna be a three on two, you can make the read. You got the 82 pass act, so, and you got the six. So you can just come up the court, get that blowout dribble, and then you can just get some good dunks in. So yeah, that's pretty much the build and some changes that you can make for it. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. And I'll catch you on the next one.